Hey everyone. I was in the Dollar Tree the other day with my daughter and I was trying to purchase a few things to make a project I'd found on Pinterest. And I had mentioned to my daughter in one of, in the craft aisle that um, I actually am one of those people that I pin things on Pinterest but then I do them. I don't just pin to be pinning. And so um, a woman in the aisle heard me and she actually asked me what project I was working on and I told her and she gave me um, an idea for another project which was really awesome. So that's what I want to share with you today. So I just took my Bible and, um, and I created a little game for my kids. I have two kids. Um, so they can learn the books of the Bible. And so, I this is what I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I got this little glass container and then these colorful popsicle sticks. And then I used my label maker just to put the title on there, the 66 books of the Bible game. So, I'm going to show you what I did to create the game. I took a black sharpie and I just wrote on each one of the popsicle sticks the book of the Bible and then on the other end I wrote which number um, of book it is in order from Genesis to Revelations. Um, so as you can see Philippians um, it's the 50th book in the Bible. So that this was just to teach them the books not necessarily the order, but um, my daughter and I were sitting um, looking at the popsicle sticks, and I she's 12, and I decided to see which ones that she knew were from the New Testament and which ones were from the Old. And it was a really fun game, and she loved it, and she laughed, and she wanted to do it again, um, and she wanted to try, you know, to test her dad, and... Um, even my six-year-old got involved, and he was enjoying it. So it can be a really fun game. I think what I will do is put like an N or an O on the back if she wants to do this with her brother or um, someone else. I already know which um, testament these books came from, but it would help her as well. So I think it's a really fun game, and I'm glad that lady shared it with me in the Dollar Tree the other day. And um, so this is just a really fun way to learn the books of the Bible. You could even do this for any age group, I think. And um, it just, it makes it more fun to get in the Bible, you know, read the word together, share scriptures and memorize verses. But this is a good way to know the actual names of the books of the Bible. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.